Okay, welcome all of you. So, we have been discussing about NOE concepts since last two or three classes. It is a vast subject and we had to discuss extensively. Varieties of things we discussed about NOE. And then in the last class we discussed about types of NOE experiments. Starting with steady state NOE, HOE, SOE, HOSE, ROE, SOE, varieties of things we said. And then NOE experiment also has some complications. We saw that what happens in the case of when you do the 1D NOE, steady state NOE, when we, I wanted to show how we can do it. You selectively saturate a spin and then collect the signal. Go very much off resonance for identical RF power you apply, take it as a reference spectrum, take the difference, you see the signal. And then there will be some complications, you have to be extremely careful. So the selectivity of the saturation is very important. If you do not selectively saturate a signal, if you perturb the neighboring signal, there is a leakage of RF, then you will get wrong results. Sometimes it could be confusing. Also, if you have a multiplicity pattern, you have to uniformly perturb them. Otherwise, what will happen? You will create an anti phase character, and that when you take the area, may get nullified finally. You may not be seeing it, but seeing the NOE, although it is there. That is also I saw that I told you. And I showed, told you about the three spin effect. If you have three spin A, B, C, if it is linear or angular, you are irradiating A and C this A effect on B, and B will be leaking to C, and then because of that leakage, there may not be a correct NOE for that. If it is the angular thing A to AC, if you want to see NOE, it may be leaking through B also, that is also possible. It may so happen, instead of getting positive NOE, it may be leaking to B and may get nullified also. So, varieties of things we discuss. In the HOSI, I took the example it of some uh, HOSI of fluorine and proton and lithium and proton, etcetera. So, it could be any of the heteronuclear uh, other dilute spin, does not matter. So, when the HOSI was seen, I showed you that there is a cross peak which is very easy to interpret. In the HOSI case, there is it not symmetric, spectrum is not symmetric. Whereas, in the case of the NOSI, there will be always it will be always symmetric. I will I will not discuss about the 2D NOSI, I will discuss in the next class or in this class itself. Then I took the example of ROSI. Why the ROSI comes? Because omega tau C1 is approximately equal to 1 for certain molecules, then there is this condition situation at which NOE goes to 0. When NOE goes to 0, then what do you do? So, we can alter the condition, physical conditions, either go to higher magnetic field if you or change the temperature, change the solvent, etcetera, bring in change the tau C or change the omega that is in your hands. Alternately, an experiment has been designed where NOE can be done in the rotating frame. That is what I said. Rotating frame NOE is always positive, never goes to 0. We discuss varieties of advantages of ROI, how it happens. The magnet, see the source spin irradiated and the other spin where which uh, the magnetization transfer takes place are both along z axis plus and minus z in NOE, but in the case of ROI you do it in the transverse plane, it is plus x and plus y and minus y or plus x or minus z, they are anti, uh, opposite to each other like anti phase and then magnetization transfer takes place. And important thing you should, I told you in the NOE case gamma B naught if you consider B naught is the static field. In the ROA case B 1 is the RF field, which is much much smaller compared to B naught. As a consequence, it, it is like you can situate treat like always extremely narrowing conditions. So, these are the things which you observed in the case of ROA also. And I showed you there is a 2D ROA case pulse sequence. I may not be able to show the 2D because the time is getting uh, you know getting short, too many things to talk. But I showed you 2D rosy sequence. We will continue with that today. This is a 2D rosy sequence here. And of course, there is a T1 period followed by spin lock. In the spin lock, so what happens? I told you already, chemicals should get completely refocused and mixing takes place between the spins, and then you collect the signal. This is a simple example of a 2D spectrum of a molecule like this. 2D rosy spectrum. This is called rosy. What is transfer there? Do not worry, I did not discuss too much about those things. Why I am showing this is when you do 2 C rosy, what is the pulse sequence you use for toxic? Identical. 
to rosy sequence and toxic sequence are almost identical we saw that with the uh, apply toxic experiment when we did 1d toxic or 2d toxic i showed you there is rf pulse mixing pulse and then we vary the t1 and the mixing pulse and collect the signal we saw that there is no difference between the toxic sequence and rosy sequence both has been locked but then as a consequence what happens there are examples where in the rosy you get toxic peaks this is an simple classic example to show the molecule where you can see this is an experiment where rosy is done in a different way i will tell you what it is slowly then you will see lots of peaks here which, which are present which are missing here here these are all called toxic peaks the if you do a conventional experiment of a 2d you are going to get a rosy spectrum along with toxic peaks which are dominant in this case toxic peaks are removed how we can remove that i'll tell you now these complications come in the uh, rosy toxic transfer takes place that takes during spin lock cosy peaks also can arise from j coupling there is signal attenuation from off resonance effects there is a multi step transfer involving both toxic and roe stages that can give us to false roes these all these complications can come okay so some of especially toxic peaks everything that can give us to complications we need to some most you know overcome that how do you overcome that uh, these are the problems you come across this really for example i have a hypothetical molecule like this b to c there is close in space i want to see, i am expecting roe here you may get it that is a genuine roe between b and c but it can so happen there can be a toxic correlation you know between taxi transfer of magnetization from a to b and then b to c this is a false ac roe you may get it may not exist but you may see roe also it can so happen there is a transfer of magnetization from c to b and b to a there is a taxi transfer and then see, you will see as though c to a roe is there here it will see a to c roe because of transfer of magnetization this way but it can go other way then you will see there is a roe as if the, between c, c and a these are all complications in rosy okay and then another few important things you should know is science of the cross peaks in rosy because we, rosy and i will tell you later exchange spectroscopy xc and then uh, toxic all the peaks will come into the picture here you see this is the science of cross peaks in rosy experiment relative to diagonal peak if you consider conventional diagonal peak is always phase positive consider rosy this is a rosy cross peak and i i will say direct roe if it is there cross peak is negative with respect to diagonal i'm talking diagonal is positive and then indirect roe three spin effect is there we saw that a to b b to c or c to b b to a in which case it appears positive there can be a toxic uh, correlated peaks in which case if diagonal is positive cross peak is also positive to the toxic there can be an roe in which case diagonal peak is negative this is a false roe there can be roe and toxic we saw that in the previous example a to b b to c or c to b b to a both cases are discussed here in both the cases ro is negative i mean the same the sign of the cross peak is negative so as a consequence there we have a false roe there can also be chemical exchange and the sign of the cross peak is positive there can be cosy type peaks we have mixed phase anti phase and in phase all these things can happen and then to overcome that there are certain methods firstly you can apply very low power rf for spin locking very very low power comparable to maximum resonance frequency offset that we don't need to use the higher one that's one way alternately you can use pulse spin lock this is a continuous rf cw you can apply pulse of the delay like this repeat n times and this pulse this can be angle less than 90 degree n number of times you apply for the same uh, time period mixing time period 
అప్లై ఎన్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ సచ్ సిరీస్ ఆఫ్ పల్సర్స్ దట్ ఈస్ స్పిన్ లాక్ యూఆర్ డూయింగ్ ఇన్ ఏ పల్స్ మ్యానర్ నాట్ ఏ సీరియబుల్ మ్యానర్ దట్ కెన్ ఆల్సో హెల్ప్ ఆల్టర్నేట్లీ యూ కెన్ అప్లై వాట్ ఇస్ కాల్ ఆల్టర్నేటింగ్ ఫేస్ స్పిన్ లాక్ లైక్ దిస్ వన్ ఎయిటీ నా వన్ ఎయిటీ ప్లస్ ఎక్స్ వన్ ఎయిటీ మైనస్ ఎయిట్ లైక్ దట్ రిపీట్ ఇట్ ఎన్ టైమ్స్ లైక్ హియర్ దెన్ వాట్ విల్ హ్యాపన్ దిస్ కాల్ ఎ ట్రీ ఆ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్స్ ఆర్ ఓఈ వాట్ విల్ హ్యాపన్ వన్స్ ద మ్యాగ్నటైజేషన్ ఇస్ హియర్ గోస్ హియర్ and see this will come here this will come here this magnetization which are opposite to each other one is the source spin is here and the other spin is here they are all opposite to each other in plus x plus y and minus y axis they keep changing their positions one this comes here this goes here every time when you apply 180 plus pulse and 180 minus x pulse this trajectory keeps changing this is called tick track trajectory you can do tick track trajectory uh, make the spins to follow then you are going to get what is called this is called a transverse noe this is another easy way to overcome some of these problems because we are aware taxi peaks coming and everything can be overcome many of these problems can be over overcome by modifying this thing okay this is uh, with this i will be almost completing the concepts of noe but i will show you here the peak, peak spectrum which i wanted to show here earlier this was i told you the taxi dominated re roe the occupants are dominated this is what is transfer roe transfers roe what is transfers roe where the spin lock pulse is 180 plus x and 180 minus x continues the n number of times you apply tick tack trajectory follow then this taxi picks are largely suppressed this is a transfers roe so these are all some of the tricks which you have to follow so basically i have given you a lot of concepts about NOE, COSI, ROSI, Sherita of NOE, everything. A lot of things we discussed. Hopefully, you have got a point about what we have to do, what we have to do, which type of experiment you have to do, how do you overcome some of these complications, etc. And with this, we will really jump into some few experiments. So far, I was telling you, of course, only this example of 2D ROSI and uh, HOSI I showed. homonuclear 2d hosi no see i have not shown at all you will really see the 2d experiment that is called transient noe i discussed to steady state noe rosi hosi but transient noe i didn't discuss transient noe can also be done in the 1d way by using gradients i am not worried about that i am not discussing that but i will discuss 2d noe that is called nosi that is another important thing so with this we will start uh, go to a different topic now all together okay and we will see what is noc and everything okay we will go into the noc experiment okay so we will start today now discussing about what is called two dimensional noce which is also called transient noe trnoe okay we already discussed steady state we discussed hosi we discussed rosi now we will discuss noce is a two dimensional experiment not one dimensional experiment that is steady state noe now what is the difference here in the case of noce noce is a non selective experiment in nature in the case of steady state and you remember i told you selectively you have to sa excite uh, saturate one of the spins and see the effect polar you know, magnetization transfer to to the neighboring spin selective you have to do one by one this is non selective in nature all envoys to all the protons can be mapped in a single experiment that is an advantage so it is a non selective experiment here envoy is built up during a short mixing time with the spins relaxing along z axis and the spins will be relaxing going back along z axis because it is a zz magnetization transfer i told you it this magnetization transfer takes place for noce along z axis this provides accurate distance information if you use build up curve for the measurement if you you can do several envoys with a different t1 how it builds with the mixing time if you monitor that you can get a very accurate distance information by using this type of experiment and most effective at determining rough estimate of 
relative approxim uh, relative proximity of protons up to 5 to 6 angstrom the, you can almost get the rough estimate of the distance that is very effectively you can do that ok. Of course, if you want to do precisely you have to do the build up curve take the build up curve. Here the recycle delay between the scan can be very short Appro unlike in the steady state where we have to give a long you know three times at least three times T1 of the spin which is taking long time to relax and and uh, the artifacts are not much are much smaller here than in steady state and we that is the advantage not many artifacts will be there. In the steady state I showed you you know depending upon selectivity of excitation and all those things we got lot of problems there all those things can be uh, over there are uh, still be there, but very minimum here artifacts are minimum here. What is a two dimensional experiment you know see it consists of a three pulse equals like this very simple what it does you apply 90 degree pulse and then bring the magnetization to x axis or y axis apply another 90 degree pulse and then allow the spins to mix here with the mixing time then I apply a pulse detection pulse and start collecting the signal this is what happens during the T1 period the transverse magnetization let us say I am doing proton proton and OE transverse magnetization of protons the protons evolves in the transverse plane in the T1 period the magnetization of protons after applying 90 degree pulse are brought here they start evolving in the x y plane ok apply 90 degree pulse it creates longitudinal magnetization because the magnetization what was there in the x axis or y axis they will be taken back to z axis because it is 180 pulse 90 plus 90 it will be with the delay of course as a consequence spin vectors would have moved by some distance in T1 and then magnetization transfer allow them to mix up in a mixing period then the magnetization transfer by a cross relaxation chemical exchange whatever it is uh, that can take place and apply a last pulse which creates transfer magnetization and FID is detected this is a simple way and the magnetization transfer for two spins A and X that are close in space how it happens like this bring the magnetization from Z axis to Y axis allow for the time T1 to spins to start moving they start, start, start processing and they move by certain uh, uh, certain degrees based on the T1 how much you wait now the both let us say A, spin A and X y, a, X and y component of the spin A is there vectors have started moving with T1 like this apply another 90 degree pulse then a, this this component will come to this like move like this and I am considering only a, the component along the axis this so the other spin let us say I am not considering only one of them I am considering A I am not worried about X spin let us say green remains same just for the sake of understanding and this component of the magnetization only I am considering one which comes here this one would have moved other other far away I am not worried about that only one of the component is taken and give some time for mixing for a few seconds few I am sorry few milliseconds one few seconds what happens during the mixing time the spins with their macroscopic magnetization along minus z axis here minus z axis will which are the, what do you mean by that minus z axis means they are in the excited states from x alpha to beta state it has gone that means they have higher energy they have to go back to a ground state or go to the equilibrium state by giving excess magnetization to somebody they have to get rid of excess magnetization the spins which are along minus z axis in the excess state a will come back to plus z axis by giving magnetization getting rid of the excess magnetization where does it give it will give to the neighboring spins that is what happens the magnetization is transferred to neighboring spins that are close in space how it can happen because of dipolar relaxation two spins close in space experience dipolar relaxation that is why remember I discussed about dipolar relaxation how this one of the spin keeps moving it all across keeping their orientation same it creates a 
local dipolar field at the side of the other nucleus which is responsible for relaxation that fluctuating dipolar field I discussed that. So, now because of that what will happen through the dipolar relaxation magnetization is transferred from one spin to other. This is what happened during the mixing time. During the mixing time magnetization is a minus z come back to z axis and it gives magnetization to th uh, spins which are already along z axis through dipolar relaxation and give some time NO you will start building up slowly like this slowly z magnetization build up and give it magnetization to x and now apply 90 degree pulse x magnetization which along z come to transfer plane and start doing the Fourier transformation you will get that signal this is what happens you understand the concept bring the mag mag minus magnet magnetization to minus z axis by applying 90 pulse T1 another 90 pulse take worry about the component of the magnetization along minus z axis it is an excited state it has to give its energy lose its energy get rid of its excess uh, magnetization by giving it some other spin which is along z axis which are closed in space through dipolar relaxation that spin is also along z axis and then slowly there is a build up of magnetization of the other spin. If you do the you know, apply third 90 degree pulse and do the Fourier transformation you get the signal for that other spin. I inverted A but I got magnetization along my signal for X. This happened this what happened during mixing time there is a transfer of magnetization from proton A to proton X and pictorially how the enhancement comes a crude diagram I am giving you as a function of increase in T1. Let us say you have inverted the magnetization Z. I have written X spin is here, it has some magnetization. Then you start giving this, this comes down, gives magnetization. Then there is some dipolar relaxation also going on, it will take magnetization, it comes down, comes down. Then this goes up, this goes up, this goes up. Finally, see complete minus Z, it goes to Z axis and this all gives all its magnetization to X. See A spin, red spin will give to blue spin, it follows a trajectory, oscillates. The, the x spin enhancement oscillate at the spin of a frequency of a a spin magnetization comes down goes up comes down goes up like this and then this magnetization energy keeps coming down go, it does not go to negative it oscillates this oscillate at the frequency of a spin. Now no c cross peaks where do you get the no c cross peaks in 2D no c cross peaks are generally between two chemical shifts between two nuclei that are close in space. As I told you there is no need of a J coupling between them only close spatial proximity is very important. Cosy peaks appear as artifacts in 2D no C spectra. Artifacts are removed by phase cycling of the first two pulses. There are art Cauchy artifacts appear in the no C spectra, but we can remove that by doing phase cycling there are several ways of removing this thing ok there are a lot of improvements are there in the pulse, pulse sequence. So, no C cross peaks are symmetric with respect to diagonal similar to your cosy taxi no C is also symmetric with respect to diagonal and intensity of the cross peaks qualitatively give you information about the spatial proximity higher the intensity they are very close in space the spins are far away separated in space the intensity comes down drastically. And if they are very far away there may not be any in the intensity at all there may not be any NOE at all. So, in, uh, qualitatively you can say getting looking at the intensity of the cross peak you can find out about this close space uh, find out about the spatial proximity whether they are close or not approximately you can get qualitatively. Of course, how do you get quantitatively that is a different thing you should know that. If you want to get it you have to monitor the built up curve everything I, that is what I told you while discussing the concepts. Assuming that you know how to do NOE you, you, you know you understood NOE 2D NOE the transient NOE everything. How do you use it ok uh, this much concept is understood you are doing transient NOE all peaks you can get in the NOE at a time it is a so it is not a selective thing it is at a time non selective all the NOE is wherever which is whichever there in the molecule can be simultaneously obtained. We are using a three pulse sequence I am not discussing much about more 
varieties of modifications are there, I am not discussing that. Only noci spectrum, how do you interpret the noci spectrum? Simple noci spectrum. We will take a couple of examples. I am taking noci spectrum of a simple molecule cis pentene. How do you interpret that molecule? Uh, how do you interpret the noci spectrum? Of course, noci we, we are using it to get the confirmation information. We will see that. This is a noci spectrum of cis 2 pentene. This is the structure of the molecule. All the protons have been numbered. Where you can interpret it, interpret the spectrum without any difficulty. Because we know that this is proton 5 and the high field region. It is a triplet because of CH2. This CH2 is a quartet because of this. And each one of the quartet is, is coupled because of this geminal coupling. It can also have a trans coupling. I do not know whether it has a cis coupling. They are far away. 1, 2, 3, 4 bond, 5 bonds away. I do not know whether it is there. But anyway, complications are there. What I am trying to say is, is uh, interpretation is not that difficult. I mean, not that easy. Although molecule is simple. Of course, qualitatively by using some idea, we can say which peak is weak, which peak is weak, but multiplicity pattern everything you can understand differently. First of all, what is important is identifying, making assignment of the different protons here. Let us start assigning the peaks here. First of all, there are 5 protons. You see there are 5 protons here. 2 are overlapped, 5 groups of protons are there. Cosi we have discussed and we know how to make the assignment. Start with this one of the uh, peaks on the diagonal, come vertically down, go horizontally, go vertically completed the square. I know this proton and this proton are complete are coupled. This is proton 5, this is proton 4. In the previous example, if this is proton 4 and the next one is the third one. This is proton 4 is here. That is why I said it is so complex. It has coupling with various things. Okay, that is also done. Proton is coupled to uh, you know, we have understood 5 and 4 assignment we have made. What next? If you carefully see this 4 has a cross peak here, go a class, complete the square, then that has to be 3. But you can see that 2 and 3, there are 2 peaks which are overlapped, not resolved. There is not enough, enough of resolution for us to say, but but they are there. But then that one of the peak has a gives a correlation to other one and complete that square, I would say this is proton 1. So, if I go systematically, I know 3 to 2, uh, this 5 to 4, then we understood 4, 3, 2 and 1. Of course, this spectrum you already analyzed n number of spectra in the class in this course earlier. So, we have understood how to interpret this, that is fine. What next? We will take the noci spectrum of the same molecule. It is very interesting. If I take the noci spectrum of the molecule, this is cispentine. We have to see what are the cross peaks we are seeing here. There is one cross peak here. Remember, this was not seen in the cosy. There was a one cross peak here between 1 and 4, this cross peak. See here 1 and 4, there was no cross peak. So, as a consequence, this is an OC peak, there is a cross peak between 1 and 4. H4 and H1, H1 correlation is seen in the NOC spectrum. What does it tell me? These two are close in space spectrumity. That is why they, they are, it is given cross peak. There is a cross peak between four, 1 and 4 because they are on the same side of the double bond. If this CH2 were to be here, and pro this proton ought to be here. Of course, multiplicity pattern here would have been different. That is a different question. CH3 would have been double addition of a triplet. But nevertheless, we do not know whether this one is on this side or the other side. We do not know unless it is a trans. But when these two are close to each other, there is a spatial proximity is so close, there is a correlation between these two. So, CH3 and CH2 is going to give cross peak here. That confirms for me it is a cis geometry because these two are on the same side of the double bond, then these two protons should be on the 
other side of the double bond. They are on the are on the same side. This establishes cis geometry for the molecule. So you now understood how we can use the no cis spectrum to get the conformation structure of the molecule. Now it can I can confidently say looking at the no cis peak, this these two protons are one side of the double bond and these two groups and these two protons are on, on one side of the double bond establishes cis geometry for the molecule. And also you can see H2 and H3 correlation that is another confirmation. Look at this here H2 and H3 correlation is there in the nose. But unfortunately they are not resolved because the chemical shifts are so overlapped if there is there is a cross peak between these two there are you can see 2 and 3 are also correlated through space. There is a confirmation that 2 and 3 are also on the same side of the double bond these two together establishes cis geometry for this molecule ok. Uh, ok I will take one simple example uh, before we complete the time is getting over I will take this last example to see uh, maybe it, I think uh, yeah, since time is up I am going to I will take this example in the next class tomorrow also. So, I am going to stop here but today what we did <coughs> We started with the complications we get in the rosy, rosy cross peaks and varieties of problems we can think of. It comes because of the toxic peaks could be there everything. How do you overcome that? We saw that if there are toxic peaks, we can use instead of CW, we can have a pulse mixing time or tick tock sequence 180 plus x 180 minus x for the mixing entire mixing period repeat it n times for the duration of the mixing then toxic peaks are removed partially they will you will elim eliminate them and we saw very clean spectrum for the rosy where toxic peaks were removed in one of the examples we saw. Then subsequently we thought after that we should go into real application real 2 D NMR no C. There are varieties of NOE experiment I told you steady state NOE ho C rosy which you discuss. And in this class, we just started discussing no C. I told you no C the triple sequence 90, T1, 90, mixing time 90, start collecting the signal. And we saw in the 90 T, the T1 period when it bring the magnetization start evolving in the T1. Then again, of a 90 degree pulse, it will as a part of the magnetization, one of the component of the magnetization vector goes to minus Z axis. We look at the component of it. And then, because it is in the exit state at minus Z axis, it wants to get rid of its magnetization by giving it to other spin which is closing spins that is we saw picturally how it happens. It gives magnetization to the neighboring spin only through dipolar interaction there dipolar relaxation is there. It relaxes by giving its magnetization to spin which is closing spins. We saw that one that is how it works actually. So, it is then finally, if you do the experiment two dimensional Fourier transformation you are going to get a, a no C spectrum which is symmetric with respect to diagonal like our quotient toxic sequences that is what we saw that. And of course, we want in interpretation of that is very, very easy I showed you taxi peaks can also have I told you several complications you can give us to cosy peaks many many things will be there. But then we have to use a judicious ties to discuss and then identify the cross peak I did not go into more details of that how to do and everything. But remember there will be complications. But those can be minimized by some methods and you are going to get to we will look at only the cross peaks. We took the example of cis pentene and we saw cross peak between two CH groups which established that they are close in space because they were giving NOE cross peaks. In the same molecule other two protons on other side they were unresolved and they also give rise to cross peak. This established the spatial proximity of these three groups and establish a Swiss geometry for the molecule that is what we understood. So, you can utilize the NOC in getting the information about the geometry of the molecule conformation of the molecule. So, that is what we can use your NOC for I give you few more examples and spe specific examples in the next class. So, I am going to stop here thank you very much. <laughs>